Hello cougars. I have another book for you today. This one's about animals. Do frogs drink hot chocolate? How animals keep warm. This is a cute book with a lot of really cute pictures. Oh, the author's name is Etta Kaner and it's illustrated by John Martz. He does some really neat illustrations. When it gets cold out, do animals turn up the heat? No. So how do they survive the chilly weather? Let's find out. Do frogs drink hot chocolate to keep warm? No. Some frogs don't even try to keep warm. The Alaskan wood frog turns into a frog sickle. It spends the winter with most of its body frozen. When the air warms up, the far frog warms up too. Do penguins snuggle with a friend? Yes. In winter, thousands of emperor penguins come together in a giant, giant huddle. It's warm in the middle, but it's cold on the outside. So what do they do? The penguin shuffle. Taking small steps, they slowly change places. That way, they all get a turn in the middle. Do butterflies sunbathe? Yes. Butterflies can't fly if they're cold, and they can't make their own heat. So what do they do? They catch some rays. If it's cold, a butterfly will sit on a rock or a log and stretch its wings. Then the sun warms up its flight muscles. Do foxes wear earmuffs? No. Arctic foxes have small furry ears. The fur helps, but so does the size. St ears stick out into the cold air. A fox's body can lose heat that way. Smaller ears don't stick out as much as big ears, so they lose less heat. Do turtles jump up and down to keep warm? No. Turtles will burrow into the mud and dead leaves at the bottom of a pond. The water there is cold, but it never freezes. It usually stays at about 39 degrees. That's about as cold as your refrigerator. That's the perfect temperature for turtles who like to snooze while they wait for spring. Do polar bears bid build homes? Yes. Pregnant polar bears build dens, but not with wood and hammers. Instead, a mama bear uses her sharp claws to dig out a cave in the snow. When it's finished, she crawls inside to have her babies. The den keeps them all safe and warm until spring. Do whales wear snowsuits? No, whales have blubber under their skin. This layer of fat keeps their body heat in and the cold out. Whale blubber can be up to 12 inches thick. That's as long as this book plus a few inches more. It also stores energy so whales can keep going for a long time without eating. Do squirrels curl up under blankets? Yes, sort of. Squirrels have built-in blankets. When it's cold out, they wrap their long bushy tails around themselves so their body heat won't escape. And that's not all. As the temperature drops, less blood flows into their tails. Instead, it stays in their bodies to help keep them warm. Do monkeys take hot baths to keep warm? Yes. Japanese macaques love to take warm baths. There are places in Japan where hot water bubbles, bubbles up naturally from the ground to form pools. After playing in the snow, the macaques will jump into these hot pools to warm up. Look, they have a little hot tub. Do tuataras sit by a campfire? A tuatara is a little like a, a, a lizard. No, tuatara's bodies cannot make heat, but birds' bodies can. So what does a tuatara do? It has a sleepover with a little bird called a fairy prion. The heat from the bird helps keep the tuatara from getting too chilly overnight. Do honeybees use teamwork? Yes. 
In the winter, honeybees form a cluster around the queen bee. Then they shiver together. By vibrating their wing muscles, they raise the air temperature in the hive. This keeps the queen toasty warm. How do bees have energy for all this shivering? Well, they eat honey. Do birds fly south? Yes and no. In winter, some birds fly south in search of food and warmth. Other birds survive wintry weather by eating as much as possible. This gives their bodies energy to keep warm. Feathers help too. When they're fluffed up, they trap warm air next to the bird's skin. Do guanacos wear leg warmers to keep warm? A guanaco is a little like a llama or an alpaca. Yes, sort of. Guanacos have thick woolly coats, but there is very little fur on their legs. When it's cold outside, chilly guanacos lie down with their legs tucked under their bodies. That keeps them nice and warm. Looks like they don't have any legs, but they're all tucked underneath. All of the animals in this book have special ways to survive the cold. But what about you? What do you do to keep warm? I know what I do. If I'm cold in my house, I get a blanket and I snuggle up on the couch. That's what I like to do. But it's a beautiful day out today. I hope you can get out and enjoy some of that sunshine to keep warm. Have a great day.